Thank you to all distinguished guests, family and friends, and especially the phenomenal team from Lockheed Martin, Fincantieri, Marinette Marine, Gibson Cox, the United States Navy, and a particular and special thank you to sponsor Polly Spencer and Secretary Richard Spencer. It is a great honor to join all of you today to represent the people of Nantucket, Massachusetts, and for the christening of the USS Nantucket. We are very grateful to have been invited to represent our community and participate in this ceremony. On behalf of the people of Nantucket, I would like to express the pride our community felt upon learning that a new naval vessel would be named in honor of our island. I would also like to take a few moments to reflect upon what this special honor means to us in light of the long maritime history of Nantucket and its connections to the United States Navy. Located 30 miles at sea, Nantucket has historically been a port of importance since the earliest days of our nation's founding and is famous for becoming the leading whaling port in the world during the 17 and 1800s, providing whale oil and other products to much of the nation in an industry that lasted into the 1850s. Nantucket's strategic location resulted in the island being impacted by various military conflicts throughout our history, including naval blockades, the forced suspension of whaling operations, and the seizing and destroying of its ships by enemy forces during the Revolutionary War and the War of 1812. In the 1920s, the U.S. Navy built and operated a radio compass station on the island, and later operated a sound surveillance system from the island's shores during the Cold War. During World War II, the Navy established a naval auxiliary air facility that operated from 1942 to 1945, which was then transitioned into the current day Nantucket Memorial Airport. Nantucket has a deep tradition of military service among its citizens and has had its share of naval service members from the Revolutionary War to the current day. Just a few examples include Lieutenant Reuben Chase, who joined the Navy in 1777 and served aboard the USS Ranger during Captain John Paul Jones's daring raid into British waters. Reuben Pickham received a naval appointment in 1818 and his first assignment was pursuing pirates in the Gulf of Mexico. During the Civil War, 16 men of color who called Nantucket home served in the Union Navy. Among these was Oliver Boston, son of Captain Absalom Boston, the most famous African-American whaling captain from Nantucket. Also a notable resident was Rear Admiral Seth Ackley, who was the first Nantucket resident to attend the U.S. Naval Academy he graduated in 1866. Rear Admiral Marcel Gwynn is believed to have been the second Nantucket resident to attend the Naval Academy, and he graduated in 1924. His sister, Gwendolyn Gwynn, was one of many Nantucket women who enlisted as Navy reservists under the WAVES program during World War II. Commander John Franklin Walling was lost in the South China Sea while on submarine patrol aboard the USS Snook in 1945. At the time of the loss, the Snook had been awarded seven battle stars. Walling was posthumously awarded a silver star and a purple heart. Nantucket resident Vice Admiral John A. Baldwin, Jr. retired with nearly 40 years of service with notable assignments, including commander of the USS Kitty Hawk Carrier Battle Group, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and president of the Naval War College. This tradition of military service also extends into my own family, which is a personal point of pride and makes being part of the celebration today especially, especially extraordinary for me. My father, H. Flint Ranning, served in the Navy from 1956 to 1959 on the carrier USS Ranger in Japan, followed by a tour on the USS Kitty Hawk, and continued in the Navy Reserves until 1964. My brother, Commander William M. Ranney, is currently serving an assignment of Future Operations Planner at Commander U.S. Pacific Fleet in Pearl Harbor. He also served on the USS Kitty Hawk as the Force Protection Officer and EOD Liaison Officer. My family and I are very proud of our son, Alexander Gibson, who is currently a rising sophomore at the Massachusetts Maritime Academy. Accompanying me today is Coast Guard Senior Chief Retired, 
Sheila Lucy, who is currently in Nantucket's Harbor Master. So it is with great pride and with the gratitude of our entire island's community that I convey our thanks and our very best wishes for fair seas and following winds for the USS Nantucket. Thank you. In ancient times, sailors called upon their gods to protect them while they were at sea. They bestowed gifts to the mythical gods of Zeus and Poseidon to calm the seas and protect all of those who sailed aboard the Christian ship. I look forward to getting to know the officers of the ship and their crew. And her crew. Uh, I will be an advocate for her continued service and well-being. She has been given the name Nantucket and will always have a home. Thank you to all the many people who have made this possible. Hard work, determination, and commitment. We wouldn't be here if not for that. So let's go christen the USS Nantucket. Thank you. Polly, are you ready to christen this great vessel? In modern times, christening is when the ship is officially named. The sponsor, who is a civilian female, breaks a bottle of wine or champagne across the ship's bow. Gifts are given by the ship's namesake, ship builders, the ship's sponsor, in keeping with the ritual to ask for divine intervention, fair winds, following seas, and to keep all that sail aboard her safe. For the United States of America, I christen thee Nantucket. May God bless all who sail on her forever. Amen. The USS Nantucket is fortunate enough to be sponsored by the amazing Mrs. Polly Spencer. As the wife of the 76th Secretary of the Navy, the Honorable Richard Spencer, she is well aware of the sacrifices that the crews and families of naval warships make for this country. On the island of Nantucket, we are fortunate enough to have Mrs. Spencer as a resident and call her a friend. And congratulations USS Nantucket, you couldn't have a better sponsor, friend, or advocate.